What is up guys, this is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and today we're going to be going over the benefits and uses of an alt account. And so this was a video that was requested in the comment sections on one of my other videos. And so I thought I would go over it. It's not like World of Warcraft or some of the other games where you have alt accounts to fulfill different roles uh, for raids and other stuff like that. While that is something that you can use an account on here for, an alt account on here for, it's not, it, it, I don't really think it's that necessary. What you use alt accounts on Black Desert for are energy slaves to start out with. So there's five or four things I'm going to talk about today. Energy slaves is the first thing. So if we go into here, you can see that each one of my characters has 98 energy. Uh, you could also use these for... Um, fail stacking setups so you can set up a fail stack number on different characters uh, transfer the account over or transfer the item over through the warehouse or the central marketplace and upgrade it on different characters not as important but as you can see i'll go into this you can see i have a enhanced chance of one currently and if i go back into this you can see that my um sorceress has enhancement one plus zero for valk's uh valk chance enhancement um, but mostly you want to use these for energy slaves. Uh, that's the most important thing. You can see all these characters have 98 energy. I really need to get to 100 energy. That That's where I need to get to. But point is, is that you can use them for energy. So one of the big things that costs energies is when you're farming somewhere is investing energy into a node. So it increases the item drop rate, which can be huge at certain areas like Elric Shrine, Helm's Post, and Abandoned Iron Mine if you're farming for a Sula set, uh, or over in Hexe Sanctuary. Where the heck is Hexe? Wherever Hexe Sanctuary. Here we go, here. Over here at Hexe Sanctuary if you're farming for Witch's Earrings. So. Obviously, there's tons of other stuff that you can farm for, but those are just the examples I'm going to use as, as a brief example here, uh, which is earrings at Hexe and the different Asula sets. Um, or you can use it at places just anywhere that you're farming, but obviously it costs energy, and each point of energy that you put in there counts as 10 energy. So if I put 9 points of energy into uh, Thousands gear, so I'll put the 9 into Thousands. If we back out here... You can see that I'm down to 8 energy on my Sorceress. And you can see that 98 energy is still on all of my other characters. Energy is used for a variety of different things. Uh, I'm not going to go into all of them. Uh, but it's it, it's used for a variety of different stuff. So energy slaves is uh, a big deal in Black Desert. Um, that's the first main thing that you want them for is for that. Next is boss alts. So I haven't gotten too deep into fighting bosses. I fought Kazarka once, and that's about all the boss world bosses that I've fought. Um, I'm going to start doing it more here very soon. I'm going to start doing world bosses on a regular occasion. I just haven't been doing it. So if you go on your map, to, there's different world bosses all over the map. World boss there. There's a world boss here. There's just world bosses all over the map. Point is, is that for them, they spawn at various times throughout the day. They're not constantly there. So they have they have timers and they spawn at different times. So what you can do is you can make a, an alt account and say, I put the alt, alt account over here at Ancient uh, Kudum. That's where my alt account is. All I would have to do is go to that alt account, connect to it, log in, and I would be there for the world boss. Uh, instead of having to run, so say I'm, I'm on my sorceress character here, instead of having to run from here all the way over to the world boss, I have a character set up already there and ready to go. Now on a boss alt character, all I suggest is to focus on AP. Your goal is to not get hit anyway when you're, when you're doing an alt account, so I suggest a ranger, witch, wizard, I think that's it, ranger, witch, wizard, maybe shy now, I'm not actually sure how shy would do in world bosses, but... Witch, Wizard, and uh, Ranger. They're the best because they're ranged. And I suggest to get them to roughly 50 to 52, somewhere in that range, and then just focus on AP. Get AP as high as you can. Obviously, you don't want garbage DP, but if you just play through the story and you get some Lord's Armor uh, along with um, the Magical Armor uh, chest piece, uh, you should be good to go uh, for those. You're, you're, you want to range characters so you can stay back and avoid damage as much as you can, because obviously they're not going to be geared like your main account. 
Next is to have life-skilling alts. So life-skilling, fishing, cooking, processing, all of that different stuff. Um, you might be wondering why you would want an alt for that. Well, I my main home in this game is over here in Altanova. I keep most of my characters in Altanova. Most of my stuff is in Altanova. Uh, or I have few things in Tariff. So one of the hot spots for AFK fishing is in Invalia. Uh, and Invalia you can see, is quite the distance away from Altanova. So if I want to go AFK, AFK fishing at night, uh, this, is an, this is where you want to go, is to Valley. Is, or it's not where you want, but it's where I want to go, say, per se. We're going to use it as an example. Per se, I want to go to Valley of, to AFK fish at night. Instead of having to take the time to run my sorceress, which can take a little bit of time all the way over to Valley, when I'm ready to get off, I can just go in, select my AFK fishing character, go to that, and we're good to go for the night. I can just AFK fish overnight, and I didn't have to run my sorceress over there and then run her all the way back to where I want to be. Uh, or say you have, I don't know, your cooking and processing is in Heidel, but uh, you keep everything in Altanova like I do. You can log into your alt if you want to do that uh, over there. Uh, so it, it saves you time and effort, um, which is really nice. And then the final thing is family fame. Now, it's kind of a little bit confusing to explain family fame, but you can see it right there. There's my family fame. As you can see, have not done a lot of life skilling yet. Uh, I, I, I want to get, I got to get more into life skilling, but I haven't done much of it yet. But there is my family fame fund. And what that will do is that'll come daily to you in your family fame fund in your mail. Um, I believe I get 755,000 currently for my family fame. Uh, which I just recently got up because I got the ninja to um, 56. I was getting like 500 and something before I got him there. Um, this is a little bit confusing to explain, but there are different brackets that get you different amount of points. And for life skilling, I believe only professional and above uh, gets you any sort of bonus to your family fame. And uh, combat has like different tiers. I believe 1 through 50 is a tier, and then it's like 52, 54. And then the big jump is 56. There's a big jump on what you receive at 56, and a jump that you receive at 60, I believe. 56, though, is the biggest jump. That's where I suggest if you want to get your family fame as high as you can, is to get your characters to 56. Uh, I'm planning to get uh, a couple of these characters that I don't have to 56 to 56. I want to get my Dark Knight and my Lawn to 56, as well as probably my Witch. Those are probably the ones that I want to get to 56, if we're being honest. And it would give me their Awakening. It gives you your Awakenings, which is nice to have on, on accounts. And it would also get you the increase to the Family Fame Fund. Uh, so that's the main reasons to have an alt on Black Desert Online, to um, have them as energy slaves, boss alts, life skilling alts, uh, and also family fame. Family fame is probably the biggest one for new players, is to get yourself a, a really nice income every day just simply by logging on. And the family fame does stack. So if you can't get on for a day, don't worry, it'll be there the next day. It stacks up your family fame and you can just collect it. Um, uh, that whenever the next time that you log in is. So that's really nice. It's, it's a daily thing that you don't actually have to get on every day to get. And so that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you want to see a video about uh, the fitness, breath, strength, and health, and how to increase those, check out uh, a video that will be coming out later um, in the next day or so. I'll have a video going over all of that stuff. Um, because that's very important to get up as well and doesn't take too much time or effort. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.